Hello, so here's a program we wrote extending the existing example for scikit images region adjacency graphs. The aim of the script is to compare the segmentation results of three algorithms, namely QuickShift, SLIC, and Felsensvolb, both before and after applying region adjacency graphs. From the results, you will see that RAGs effectively mitigate the over-segmentation problems of these algorithms, generating more meaningful segmentation regions. But before we explain the program, here's a short summary of RAGs. RAG is a graph data structure for which weights denote the similarity of topological adjacency between two nodes. Nodes can be merged, favoring either the smaller or larger weights. So now moving on to the program, we first import some dependencies from scikit's image, numpy, and matplotlib. Then we define the show image function, which takes input and visualizes segmentation results. To better compare the pre and post RAG results, we use subplots and matplotlib to display them side by side. Now moving on to the main program. We first load scikit images built in coffee cup image. Then we apply the three segmentation algorithms to generate region labels. For quick shift, we choose the following parameters. This means that the distance cutoff point will be six. And by raising this number, we decrease the number of segmentation regions. Ratio denotes the weight given to color space similarity. And one minus ratio is the weight for image space similarity. As for SLIC, we chose these parameters. N underscore segments denotes the number of labels or segments in the output, while compactness weighs space against color proximity. Lastly, for Felsensbulb, scale controls the size of clusters, sigma controls the kernel width, and min underscore size is the minimum component size. We then convert the labels to color-coded labels on the original image. We define the region adjacency graphs using the segmentation labels. For each segmented region, the RAG is visualized as the mean color of all its pixels. We then use the show underscore RAG function to draw them and add the color bars to matplotlib plots. As seen from these three images, the three algorithms perform segmentation very differently. One can experiment with different parameter settings for each algorithm, which can drastically change the results. Finally, as we only want to display regions with meaningful differences, we define a threshold and combine regions for which the edge weight is less than the th threshold. Here the threshold is 29. After converting this to an RGB image, we visualize this with the matplotlib function. As you can see, before segmentation, the quickshift algorithm returns a lot of separate segmentation regions for the same face of the coffee cup, which does not accurately reflect real life experience interacting with a coffee cup. Afterwards, on the right hand side, this over segmentation is largely corrected and many regions are now combined into one. To conclude, region adjacency graphs are an incredibly efficient way of enhancing segmentation results, avoiding over-segmentation, and generating output that more closely models real objects' surfaces.